vintage and vinyls. I'll be spinning some rockin' 50s records, as well as showing you some cool Coca-Cola collectibles and other neat vintage finds. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is my Coca-Cola tray collection. I wanna give a quick shout out to Misty, uh, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter on YouTube. She sent this awesome Coca-Cola tray. I bought it from her over Christmas and I just love it. It is a 1960s original fishtail sign and it is just awesome. It really completes this wall. So let's just jump right in here and start off with my favorite Coca-Cola tray. Now this is hard because all of them are just so incredibly cool but I love this one probably the most. And it was really hard to find. I don't think that there's a lot of them and they're not really readily available at a good price. You can pay a lot of money for this tray. Now I got lucky and got someone at, that didn't really know probably how much it was. It is a little bit in poorer shape. Most of my trays aren't perfect and I'm gonna go ahead and say I love it. I love when Vintage has some dings, some nicks, some rust. It just adds to its character and its story. Now, if you collect the mint trays, that is totally fine. If you want to get the best ones you can, that is awesome. Uh, for me, I just love the ones that are a little bit roughed up. And that's a good tip for collectors. If you are looking to buy a tray and you want the old Coca-Cola trays but do not want to pay a thousand bucks for one, Go out and search auctions. Find ones that are in a little bit rougher shape. Or even maybe you'll get lucky and find one in good shape and pay a little less money for it because the seller just doesn't know what they have. So this tray is from 1930. It is the Meet Me at the Soda Fountain tray. And I love this girl. She's got the phone, the yellow dress, and that green background that just makes her so cool. This tray um, is just amazing, and you can really see the graphics popping out at you. Uh, there's no fuzziness, distortion, or blurriness in this picture whatsoever. And that is something I wanted to talk about. In 1970, the Coca-Cola Company did do reproductions of a lot of these trays. Now, the reproductions are not as good, and they are fuzzy and kind of blurry, and here's a few tips I'm going to show you on this tray and a few others on how you can make sure you're getting an authentic tray when you're buying. So this tray, first off on the bottom, you can see that it has copyright Coca-Cola Company 1930. It has American Artworks, Inc., Coshocton, Ohio, and it has made in the USA. Also, in the swerve of the sea, it has trademark registered. And the Coca-Cola logo fits really nicely at the top. It's not oversized or, or weird. Some of the 70s reproductions, this is like really big and the image is funky size. You don't want that. So definitely look out for that. Also make sure the gold around the rim, not all of the trays have gold, but some of them do. Make sure it's um, an antique gold. It looks really rich and vibrant. It doesn't look like it came from you know, the craft store and someone just painted it on. Um, the back also is really important and you wanna make sure that the back is black or gunmetal gray. Now this does not include the chip trays and I'll talk about those in another video. Um, and another quick tip here while I've got the back of this um, for you is make sure that you hang these well. Don't nail them into the wall because you're ruining your trays. You don't want to run them at all. Uh, this is just a dollar disc adhesive plate hanger that I get from the store, like any hobby store. And it really works out super well because it hangs on the wall and it's easy to put on and it doesn't damage your trays. All right, so let's move along to the Springboard Girl tray. The Springboard Girl tray is just cool. And what I really like about her is, you know, she would have been considered risque at the time that she was produced in 1939. And now we just don't bat an eye. We think, okay, that's just a bathing suit. It's normal. So I love that Coke always is ahead of its time and it's moving forward. And they put this out there, and that's just so cool. Really neat image. Uh, next, we have the girl with the yellow hat. And I love this tray. I don't know if she's sitting in a garden behind like a shutter, 
you know, or a gate. I'm not sure, but it's a really neat tray. And um, she is from 1938. Isn't she cool? I love her face. She's just amazing. She's got that kind of vintage makeup look going on with the dress. The next tray I'm going to show you is probably my second favorite tray. And that's really hard. As I said, I love them all. I just think they're so classically vintage. But this one is the Roadster Girls tray. And it is from 1942. Isn't that just amazing. I love the car. <laughs> and then you can see she's got this like plaid jacket that's so cool. And she just has that really friendly face. So I love this tray. And this is a good example of a tray that was after 1940 that does not have that in the swerve of the seat. Down here it says trademark registered U.S. patent off. So some of the trays after 1940 will have that. Now this tray here is a special tray because it came from Vintage Vinnie. I bought it on his eBay store and I just love her. She is the oldest tray I own. She's from 1910 and she is original. And one of the ways you can tell on this tray because it was reproduced is you want to make sure the hat here is not that blue color, not the blue in the thermostat, but like a really kind of grayed out blue. You also want to make sure that there is no Coca-Cola bottle in the corner here on a stool because the, the repros have that. So definitely check that out and really scour your listing. Make sure that everything looks right before you buy. Uh, if you're going to buy from eBay. Um, otherwise, go to antique stores and look. I don't find trays that aren't from the 70s um, in antique stores a lot. I don't know. I guess maybe some of the older ones are becoming really hard to find. So definitely um, use your online resources if you have to and are looking for a tray. This tray is the Madge Evans tray, and I did get it from Misty over at Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And uh, this is a harder tray to find. And I love that she's standing in front of, it appears to be like a fish tank, or maybe it's a wallpaper with fish, but this is the Madge Evans tray. And she is from 1935. And I don't see a lot of her on the internet. And I just saw actually a PBS series with a lady that talked about her tray collection and how her grandfather collected uh, trays and this one was one of the rarer ones in her collection. So um, I do think that it is a little bit difficult to find. But isn't she so cool? Now down here is the Menu Girl tray. And they did make two versions of her. Um, one version has the Have a Coke and Thirst Knows No Season. And all the different seasons. People doing skateboarding, uh, skiing, the Easter Bunny, having a birthday cake carving a pumpkin, you know, doing all kinds of different things you would do all year round while enjoying Coca-Cola. Now, the other one basically is the same, but the actions around the outside are in different places. So, and it's in the version where the have a Coke is, the other version has that just a little bit bigger. So, there are two versions, but this tray is probably the easiest to find because there's a lot of them out there and you can get a decent one for probably about twenty dollars this one is from 1953 to 1960 and it's just a neat tray i think she's cool now i want to show you another one of my very favorite trays and this is the girl with the wind in her hair she is also very common there's a lot of her out there, and you can get her at a decent price. But I just love the graphics. I love this vintage necktie here that's yellow and the gloves. It just looks like a cover of a magazine from back then. But she's from 1960, and she has two versions. So one version has the screened background, where the background will be solid blue. And then this one that I have here is more of an ombre. It goes down with different colors. Now the screen background is worth a little bit more and is harder to find at a decent price. So I don't have that one yet, but I hope to get it someday. 
This is the Umbrella Girl tray, and she is from Canada, actually. I don't think they ever really produced it in the U.S. As far as I know, it was a Canadian tray. And there's two versions of her. One will be in French and the other version in English. Now, this tray is unique because it doesn't have the markings that the other trays have. It will say Limited U.S. on the bottom. Now, this tray here is not the hardest to find, but I also don't see a lot of her. And I bought this from a guy in Canada. So, yes, I did have to pay some overseas shipping to get this tray, but I didn't pay more than $20 for her. So, I say that's a pretty good price. And I, I love the mint green and the red umbrella. I mean, wow, that's just really neat. And it pops right off the tray. I mean, it stands out. Um, and such a cool face, too. I mean, I mean, the makeup is cool. She's got kind of that, that vintage look, which I really, really love. Um, so if you're looking for her, know that she was never reproduced. So if you find her, most likely you will get her at a reasonable price. And she is from 1957. I mean, not at a reasonable price, but you will get her authentic, most likely, because unless it's a fake, they never reproduced her, so she won't be a reproduction from the 70s. Now this tray here is another one of my all-time favorites, and I know, I know, I know I keep saying that, but I just love them all. Oh. This guy is the Soda Jerk tray, and he's harder to find. I had to track him down on eBay. Uh, I really, really looked for this tray, and he's from 1928, and I did eventually get from a seller uh, that had him at a reasonable price. And, you know, he's got some rust stains, and he's not in the most perfect shape, but I do love that, and a really neat tray. This is the Running Girl tray. And she's got this bathing suit on, and then it appears to be some sort of cape, or maybe back then that was a cover-up. If you guys know what that is, vintage-wise, comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys what you think she's wearing. Um, it's such an unusual tray. This is the Running Girl tray. She's from 1937, and she does have the gold rim around the outside, which I love. Very cool. And this is the Ice Skater Girl tray. Now, she's unique because she's one of the only trays that has an emblem right here in Drinking Coke. It's the only tray that has the emblem, but other trays have images going around the outside, like the Menu Girl tray. But it's the only one that has this little lady drinking Coke. And I just think that that's amazing. And she's such a cool tray. And you can see here, it's got all the markings down at the bottom. And she's from 1941. Really cool. Really, really cool tray. Now, this is the golfer tray. I love this tray. I looked and looked and looked for this tray because it goes for thousands of dollars online. And I'm just not willing to obviously pay that. But I did find from a seller, um, and I got a good price. I only paid $40. I know, $40, what a score for a tray like this. Just amazing. It's from 1928, and I love the graphics. And Coca-Cola did use a lot of uh, sports figures and famous opera singers um, and other famous movie stars in their trays and in the calendars. So you will see a lot of people that are famous. This tray here is, I just call her the girl and the yellow bathing suit. She probably has another name, but she's got some really cool graphics. She's got um, this towel with the flowers, and I love her. And I think behind her there's like some sort of railing or chair or something, but I just, she's really, really cool. Um, and you can find her online. I don't think she's too hard to find. But she's also not the easiest, so I guess she's somewhere in the middle. But she's from 1932, and she's the girl with the yellow bathing suit. Now down here, I don't know the name for this tray, so I'm just going to call her the girl in the night outfit. Um, she's dressed, obviously, in evening wear, and she's got the Coca-Cola glass, and she's just so cool. I love the gold and the red. Uh, that's really neat. She's from 1936. 
and she is harder to find. I had to look for her, but I did eventually find her. So while you're out there, guys, just keep looking, keep your spirits high, and eventually one day you will find the perfect tray at the perfect price, and it will be a joyful moment. Okay, let me show you the last tray here in my collection, and that is the girl with the fishing pole. I don't actually know the official name of this tray, but I love the gold that she doesn't have the gold, that she's got that silver with the silver lines. That's so cool. And she's from 1940, and she's sitting on a dock, as you can see, fishing. And I just think that that's really cool. Um, not all of the trays are rectangular. Um, most of them are horizontal, I mean vertical. <laughs> and this tray is more rectangular and more horizontal shaped. Um, and I really think that that's neat. So uh, she's a cool tray. I think she's pretty easy to find. I do see her a lot online. So do look out for her. And just enjoy the hunt, guys. That's part of the fun of collecting and getting these trays. And support all your local uh, vendors and online sellers as well. If you can, that's really the best way to go. This is the Petretti's Guide, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I'm sure diehard Coca-Cola collectors know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is like the holy grail for Coca-Cola collectibles. It has everything from trays to signs to clocks to paper items to rare things that most people don't even know existed, like Coca-Cola gum. Um, even old bottles and just neat things that Coca-Cola put out. They really were amazing marketers so let me show you inside here what the coca-cola trays um, have and i want to mention that these values really are based on things being in perfect condition uh, now not everybody can get perfect condition trays one because they're harder and harder to find but also because they're just so darn expensive and that is one of my tips for collectors. If you want Coke and you want some of the older stuff, you know, go buy things that are not in the most perfect shape. I personally think that the rougher it is, the cooler it looks. It has that vintage patina. And I know a lot of diehard collectors would disagree with me here, but I don't mind buying a tray that's a little roughed up as long as I can see the image and I can enjoy it because I guarantee you that I am not paying $900 for any of my trays. Uh, the most I've ever paid is $100, and that was for the rare golfer tray, which is very hard to find. So let me show you some trays in here. This one I showed you from 1928. It's the soda jerk tray, and it retails at $900. And then the golfer tray... <laughs> Uh, it goes for a thousand and I've even seen it on eBay in recent auctions go for tons more because it's just so hard to find. Here is the flapper girl tray from 1910 and we've got oh here's ice skater girl 385 uh, 1957 the girl with the umbrella 300. Uh, now this is what I was talking about here the screened background tray. I have this tray here, the girl with the wind in her hair, and I want this one. Now, it goes for a pretty penny online, and I don't see very many of them, so hopefully I'll get lucky, and I'll either get someone that doesn't know what they're selling, or the auction will just be super cheap. Uh, there's also another tray that I'd like to show you that I really, really want, and it's this tray. It is the soda jerk serving to two people in a car it is the coolest tray but again i rarely see any of these on ebay and i've looked at antique stores too and there's just not a lot of stores that have these and if they do they're, they're the reproductions from the 70s and i don't want those i mean if you collect them again more power to you but not for me this tray also is highly collectible and really easy to buy a fake so let me tell you my story about this tray. 
This is the Johnny Weissman tray. It's the guy that played Tarzan. And I bought this in an auction for $20. I thought, man, I'm getting a steal. But when I got it, I inspected it really closely and I realized that it was a fake. Now, there's no reproduction stamp. The back had actually been painted gray and I could not tell from the photos. Everything checked out, it looked original, but when I got it, you could just tell. The, the picture was fuzzy. The uh, colorway for the inside here, there's like a, a gold uh, and red colorway that has a specific pattern, you know, going from the outside to the end, and it just was not the same. You could just tell. Luckily, eBay refunded me, and I told the lady so she'd know. I don't think she seemed to believe me, but I told her to check Petretti's and really learn that that's a fake. So hopefully no one else gets duped by that, but good thing I got my money back. This is the Springboard Girl tray from 1939. She's $350, so you can see there's just different trays here. Um, also, this is another tray that I love. Uh, from 1930. It's the girl with um, a bottle and she's putting on like an outer coat and she's in her swimwear. So that's on my list to get. Um, also, I love, um, there's some Mexican trays here too. Um, these are, some of them are in Spanish, which I think is really neat. Um, the other tray though that I would just love to have is some of these really really old change trays now they would put the change on these in the soda fountains and that would kind of be like today when we go out to eat and they bring us the the book to pay well this is what they'd bring you and then you'd put your money or your change on it and you'd buy your your coke so i have this one the betty girl tray she's from 1914 and again, these trays will have a little inscription on the bottom, sort of like the Coshocton, Ohio. Um, so you want to look for that. Now, some of these, like the Betty Girl tray, does actually have a mustard back. Those are original. Now, the other trays, if you see a mustard back, you want to run because those aren't authentic. But some of the tra change trays actually do. Um, and the, they did reproduce these in the 70s, but I do believe that those say uh, this is a reproduction of the Coca-Cola company, yada, 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 you can see. Uh, but I would like to get her. I just think she's so cool. Look at that hat. They just certainly don't wear things like that. I also would love to get her. Now, this is an interesting tray here. There is a reproduction, or I say reproduction, but it's actually a fantasy tray because they, Coke never made it. It must have been put out by somebody else, but it's a long, skinny tray. It's like this long, and I don't know, probably halfway up the book here. And it has her, and it has a whole garden scene. That tray is a fantasy. Coca-Cola never made it not worth buying it's only worth like two or three bucks i will show you though there is a tray that i would love to have and it is the elaine girl tray from the 1900s she's let me find her because i know she's in here she's just over here there she is so this is the elaine girl tray and she is the only long tray that coca-cola put out it's from 1916 now here it says 500, but I see these going for like two or three thousand online. And I've looked and looked for her, but I've never found her in the wild. So we will keep our eye out. But that is it. And I hope you guys have a blessed week. Stay safe, stay in, keep binging YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.